Hey, welcome everybody to this week's episode of Ant on Music. I am your humble host, Ant. And uh, this week we're going to take a look. We have a, you know, take a look at some stuff that I got in the mail this week. It's always fun when the, uh, when you find a package outside your door, I'm sure, you know, you feel the same way I do, especially in my house. You know, uh, my wife, Laura and I, we try and hide um, what comes in the mail from us from Amazon and wherever else. In my case, it's a lot of uh, record companies, you know, little uh, record fairies drop stuff off at the door periodically during the week uh, from time to time. And this was one of those weeks where some stuff came in. So, uh, you know, we're going to hop into it in a second. But as I always ask you, as I always plead, as I always beg, please click like, drop a comment, share the video on other platforms. And by all means, please, please, please subscribe. All right. Want subscribers. All right. So what do we got this week? OK, got uh, basically just two bands. And believe it or not. That's as far as the records go. There's also a book. A book. Yes, I know how to read. I know it seems hard to believe, but yes, I do know how to read. And what would I read? Well, I read about rock and roll. And this is really cool because um, I saw this. I got uh, got like an email or something on this. And I was like, ah, oh, that seems pretty cool. I didn't even know this existed. Uh, the name of the book is called The Road Bends. And that gentleman right there, that dashing man is... Mr. Sammy Yaffa. Uh, Sammy is founding member of one of my favorite bands, the Hanoi Rocks. Uh, cool thing about this is, you know, one is the book, and it's about him growing up uh, in Sweden. And um, also, if you look behind me, there's an audio, you know, it's not the full book, but there's audio recordings of Sammy with excerpts from the book. And even cooler, this was the big gimme for me. Signed by the man himself. You can't get better than that. And you would die if I told you what I paid for this. Would you believe I got both the book and the record combined? Ten bucks? I mean, how can you go wrong for that price? I mean, yeah, I'm all in. Yeah, this is on my reading list, uh, on the ever-growing reading list of stuff that takes me forever to read. But uh, behind Getty Lee, and then there's a, yeah, I'm still finishing up a YouTube book. Uh, so... Uh, Bono book, I should say. Uh, so that's as far as uh, Hanoi Rocks for this week and, and Sammy. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, diving into that. All right. In the same package of stuff that I also got a good deal on were um, one of those bands that, you know, like Sammy's definitely, you know, glam punk type of uh, type of music. Next band is two. All right. Uh, these are limited edition releases. Uh, limited to 300 for each, both the same band. Uh, I spoke about them uh, during uh, an episode I did for uh, Women in Rock, and I'm talking about the Donnas, okay? Uh, great band, you know, and their first couple albums were very raw, and uh, they wore their influences, like, right on their sleeves. Um, and... Their two big influences, pretty much the Ramones and the Runaways, all right? You can check out the hype sticker there. And you can tell this is like a Ramones type album. Just check out the track list and look how many tracks. And this is just, you know, a standard vinyl record. You know, all the tracks are pretty short. The longest one is uh, 238, all right? Uh, and, you know, this is, this is just pure aggressive, you know, pop pop punk you know and it's like uh actually raw than pop punk i'd say I'd give it even more credit than green day uh inside you have this insert you know picture of uh the band on the front and then uh, a little bit of information uh about the recording of the album and for a black and white pretty you know standard cover it's actually a very nice looking piece of vinyl it's like a bubblegum pink with uh, some white in there as well all right so you have that the donnas all right and this is their debut uh and it's got some cool tracks on it like i said the best thing about you know an album like this is the tracks are so short even if they're not spectacular they're not along or, or, uh, they're not around long enough to annoy you uh so on this we have the stuff that stands out to me hey i'm gonna be your girl 
uh, Teenage Runaway, I'm gonna make him mine tonight. Huff All Night, uh, I Don't Wanna Go. Friday Fun, Everybody Smoking Chiba. Uh, Do You Wanna Go Out With Me? And Rock and Roll Boy. Um, and you know, the thing about you know them, like I said, very raw, very creative. They, they you know, like I said, they took their aesthetic from the Ramones. You know, they all took the name Donna, you know, uh, and this is when they were just starting out. They were like fresh out of high school, these kids. And uh, the album pretty much rips. It's a, it's a good listen, very, very uh, underproduced, lo-fi, just really, really, you know, good stuff. And I hadn't had this on CD, and this is the first time it's been released on vinyl as far as I understand. So when it came out initially back in 97, it was a, uh, a CD only release. Uh, I picked up stuff from them, I think starting with uh, Let's, uh, Let's Spend the Night Together, I think is the name of the album. Uh, and um, you know, good stuff. Also got another one from the Donnas. This one's called American Teenage Rock and Roll Machine. Uh, and you know, got a picture of Lay's front and back. Also limited to uh, to 300 and a little more on the glammy end of things on this one. You know, this is where more of the, the runaways start shining through. The thing that always amazed me about the Donnas is um, they're all talented, right? Good stuff, top to bottom. When they broke up, they never really achieved like uh, individual fame, kind of like the Runaways. You know, Cherie Curry had her uh, had her moment in the sun. Joan Jett still going, Lita Ford still going, uh, but these ladies never uh, never achieved that, unfortunately. Uh, and with this, we have you know another insert, and it actually has a picture and calendar, so you can have the Donnas as your calendar girls. If we could take a time machine and go back to. 1998. Uh, another cool looking piece of vinyl here. It's like a deep purplish blue with some white in there. Very cool looking. Uh, as far as the tracks on this go, like I said, um, much more uh, much more the line of the of the Runaways than the the prior album, you know, but. Still very uh, raw, very punky. And on this one, the stuff that uh, stands out to me is the title track, uh, Out of My Mind, Leather on Leather, uh, Give Me My Radio, Want to Get stuff, Some Stuff Done, uh, and Looking for Blood and Speed Demon. It's a, a pretty decent album. Um, and with them, it's like, you know, they came along at a time where there wasn't a lot, there was a lot of rock on the scene you know, shredders, stuff like that, but they're, you know, they're, you know, in grunge, we're in the emo phase, but there wasn't a lot of rock and roll. And this is just, you know, pretty much straight up rock and roll, punk, glam. Um, it's unapologetic. You know, it is what it is. And uh, they're just having a good time. And the, the lyrics are soft mark in most places. It deals with, you know, drugs, sex, Rock and roll. I mean, that that's basically what they're they're uh, putting out there, and they do a damn good job of it. If you've never listened to them, check it out. This is a, a good album to pick up as well. So happy to have this as well. And this was never released on vinyl either. So to have it limited to three hundred copies uh, on both cases and get the first two albums on vinyl, I'm thrilled. The other thing we're gonna look at. Okay, you look at some more uh, picture vinyl here. And if you haven't figured it out, because I'm always giving you hints, uh, we are going to enter the Vatican, uh, the catacombs of the Black Vatican, and we're going to take a look at uh, one of my favorite guitarists, um, Zach Wild. You know, Zach has done his stint with Ozzy. He's kind of come back to the fold a bit. Uh, he's been out on tour uh, with doing his... Uh, Black Sabbath, or as he calls it, Zack Sabbath, and also out there on the road with Pantera. How can you, uh, how can you, you know, not enjoy seeing uh, seeing Zach doing his tribute to his buddy Don? So I got a, a nice shipment of stuff from MNRK Records, uh, and first off, we're going to take a look at is this EP called Nuns and Roaches. Uh, from the Black Label Society, Zach's uh, band, and this is a uh, you know this is an EP. 
Uh, only six tracks on there. They're listed right there. Uh, you know, good stuff on here. The Killing Cross, you know, Peace and Sympathy, the fermented version of Black Pearl, Twisted, White Christmas, and Peddlers of Death, the alternative version. And uh, this is, you know, nothing inside but, you know, white, but the vinyl is nice, you know, the white sleeve, but this, I guess you would say, is kind of like a magenta with some black thrown in there for good luck. Cool labels with Zach on there. So, uh, you know, glad to get this in my collection. Uh, didn't even have this one on CD either. So usually a lot of times I'm picking up stuff that I already have, but this one uh, I hadn't had before. So glad to get that. This one I did have on CD. All right. This is probably one of my, my top three albums of Zach's, and that's uh, Black Label Society's Hangover Music. And it's a nice gatefold sleeve. I got this upon its initial release on uh, CD. Glad to have it in vinyl. Uh, and take a look at the records first, and we'll talk about them for a second. Uh, this is, uh, you know, just thinking about the best way to describe this. How would we describe this? All right, take a look at the labels. Very cool. All right. Uh, and I'm going to go with boogers in black how about that for a color i think that's uh close to like a you know a nice healthy flu booger let's say that you know it's flu booger greenish yellow a mucus yellow and uh and black there so you have that and it's a two album set uh they both look similar so we'll just take a quick peek all right Another uh, boogerific looking record right there. Uh, love the track listing on this. Always uh, love the stuff that Zach does, especially on the, the mellower side. We've got Crazy or High, Queen of Sorrows, Stepping Stone, Yesterday, Today, and Tomorrow, To Kill Ya. Uh, won't find it here. She Deserves a Free Ride, House of Doom, Damage is Done. Uh, Lane, which is a song dedicated to uh, the deceased Lane Staley. Uh, Woman Don't Cry, No Other. Great cover of Whiter Shade of Pale. Um, love the original by Pearl Harm. Love the HSAS version, uh, the Hagar Shone Aronson and Shreve version. And I really dig this version as well, uh, Whiter Shade of Pale. Uh, then you have Once More and Fear. So you have that, very cool gonna keep going with the uh with the black label stuff all right actually we're gonna do a zach solo one kind of all over the place so we'll finish up with uh with something so with this okay this is the book of shadows album okay uh you know definitely on the mellower side like hangover music and this has got a cool color you hear a cat meow and ignore it it's just my cat cupcake she's wandering around and this is like a silver and black splatter very cool with the uh labels with the trees and skulls on there uh dig it i really do and uh you know i'm not going to show you both albums because they're the same they look the same but track listing autumn changes uh tease of december definitely you know getting into that mode of being coming that this is the final unofficial week of summer can't believe we're already approaching the fall uh, lay me down uh let's see what else have we got in here that i dig uh da, 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 da. forgotten memory yesterday tears uh harbors of pity a bunch of other stuff as well it's a it's a it's a really good album book of shadows uh you know dig this one very much Glad to have it in my collection on vinyl. Now, finally, this is what we're going to look at this week. I've got a box set, all right, and I haven't even opened it yet. Check this out. This is, all right, it's kind of hard to see because of the, uh, the wrap on it, but this is Black Label Society's Doom Crew Inc. And we're going we're gonna to peel this up, and we're going to check this out and see exactly what's in the box got to see what's in the box man so it's a very cool it's uh you know it's definitely built to last 
uh, you know, as opposed to cardboard boxes, this one is, it's made of metal. Very cool. So, got the cover. All right. And what do we got in here? Woohoo! We've got the Dune Crew album on cassette. Now, how many of you people can say that you can actually play one of these bad boys? Believe it or not, not only do I have, still have a double cassette deck, I still have a functioning Sony Sports Walkman. Don't hate on me. We've also gotten here, check this out. Talk about a throwback. We've got the CD. And this, boys and girls, in case you're unfamiliar, is a CD long box. All right. And it's got the album on it in full. Pretty cool. All right. So we've got it on cassette, CD in a long box. Yo, long box. Here's something interesting. This is the type of mental patient your pal Ann is. I actually have over 900 CD long boxes, all flattened out, all stored away in my attic. Why? I wish I had a good reason for you. Uh, in here, we've got some Doom Crew paraphernalia. We've got stickers, we've got coasters, we've got pins, all sealed for your protection right there. Oh, and here we go. I just skipped over this. We have a black label flag. Let's, let's open this bad boy up. All right, let's check this out. It's actually a pretty cool box set. Ordered it, totally forgot what was coming in it. So it's like, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. So check that out. I'm sure I look better this way. Uh, a big Doom Crew Inc. banner. I got it. I, I got it. Do I have it upside down? Yes, I do. Or do I have it backwards? What am I looking at here? Yeah, let's toss it over. Just open up, didn't pay attention. There we go. Much better. What a dope. There we go. The Black Label Society Doom Crew. Very neat. I always love the fact that, like, you know, I, I always wonder when it comes to uh, Zach Wilde and, um, and like, he has chapters of, you know, the Black Label Society. You have the Berserkers. And I always wonder, because he's a Jersey dude, and you have uh, Kevin Smith uh, from Clerks. Another Jersey guy. And, you know, there's an ongoing joke in the Clerks movies about Berserker! Always wonder if that's the uh, the case. So check this out. Autographed by the man himself. Right there. That's pretty damn cool. Uh, and it's got set you free on the back. And of course, last but not least, in bubble wrap, no less. Doom Crew Inc. The album itself, and it's on limited edition, 180 grams uh, album. Got the, uh, the download card, and it is a picture disc. See so what that means? You have to take a look at the picture disc, right? Let's just open that up. We'll take a look at the gate. This is cool. It's like Christmas. It's actually a very neat box. A very, very cool. And uh, once again, people at M MNRK, they threw this sucker up on sale and I was all over it like white on rice. So let's take a look. Get a little better of a view. There we go. Pretty cool gatefold. And we've got the lyrics in there. Let's take a look at the sleeves. Oh. Is that supposed to be Zach or Jerry Garcia? I'm not sure. Let's take a look at the vinyl. Oh, how cool is that? Very neat. And like you always hear me say, I'm not much of a, a picture disc guy, but uh, like I said, this is a, this was a pretty cool set to pick up. And I actually know nothing about this album. I've never, never owned it on CD. So this is like a, a big gimme all the way around. 
because now I have it on like everything but 8-track. Yep, Doom Crew Inc. again. Very cool looking. Yeah, this is this is neat. So I'm going to enjoy uh, partaking in this and listening to it over the next week or so. And I'll, it'll probably end up on the wall behind me, the listening wall as I call it. Uh, so that is everything I have for you this week. You know, a couple from the Donnas, a bunch from uh, Zach Wild and the Black Label Society. Sammy Yaffa from Hanoi Rocks. So, uh, you know, busy week in music for me. There's a lot going on in the world of music. Um, next week, we're probably going to take a look at the new David Gilmore album that's due out next week. If it comes in time, if I pick it up in time, I will definitely be sharing that with everyone here. Uh, so, you know, I'm looking forward to sharing that with everyone. That's basically everything I have for you this week. Thank you so, so much for supporting the channel, coming and checking it out sharing it with other people on other platforms and most importantly subscribing so that's everything and as i always say peace one love music i'm out